You know, there have been a lot of terrific players from Sri Lanka. Aravinda De Silva for so long seemed to be first among them. Then Mahela Jai Wardener came along, but we can look back to guys like, you know, Roy Dias and Duli Mendis, Siddharth Weta Mooney, but Kuma Sangakar is the one for me. Oh, down the ground this time. Who can't get there? It's four more. Sangakara in the mood. Terrific technique, terrific mind for the job, terrific self-belief, ever improving himself, uh, learning new tricks. Became as good a one-day player as a test match player and did the hard yards. Made runs away from home every bit as easily as he did at home. The records, the stats prove that. Um, and then it was like a signature on the whole thing in the 2015 World Cup when he looked and played as if he was the best player in the world. Oh, what a shot. Terrific shot. Just went down the pitch and whacked it. 175 more. Oh, down the ground, that's a good hit against a ball that was actually in very good rhythm. But Sangakara decided, look, there's a far play on, there's only three outside, big ground. Let me get a move on. Down the ground, there it is. Raise it better. Kumar Sangakara, 100 in his 400th ODI. And a fantastic knock. He came in when Sri Lanka were looking to dominate, found his timing straight away. He's been a treat today. He's been hitting through the line of the ball and he's thrilled, not only the 35,000 people here in the stadium, but everyone around the world. Most players would be satisfied with one, you know, World Cup 100, I'm pretty sure, but uh, somehow Sangukara have just found the, the inner sort of strength and desire to score another three on the trot, which is, you know, there's, there's, there's hunger and there's greed, and he absolutely gorged himself. Won't miss out, he's in good touch, has a hundred to his name already in this World Cup. Lovely shot, excellent use of the feet, plenty of bat and goes all the way. Pulled away, leg side, this has gone all the way, six. The Sri Lankans had a bit of a run feast in the 2015 World Cup with the stars of their batting order, who I think had benefited hugely from playing in the IPL, Jai Wardner, Sangakkara and Dilshan in particular. Uh, they just really loved the pitches in Australia and New Zealand and so lots of runs were scored and in fact Sangakkara scored those four consecutive hundreds so he was absolutely revelling in it all. He pulls that away, that'll be four, it's off in the case. Half chance, and the next ball's a boundary. 99, not out. What a superb player he's been. Over 14,000 one-day runs. And there it is, there's 100. He'll get back for two. That's three hundreds on the trot. For Kumar Sangakkara, first man in World Cup history to do that. It was the most incredible one-day form of his life during that World Cup and it was actually the culmination of three years of really top-class batting from him, particularly in one-day cricket. He scored 14 of his uh, 25 hundreds in that three-year period, 14 of his 25 ODI hundreds. He just um, churned them out for fun. Um, uh, it was the best tempo he ever got into and you know, he would be remembered as a great one-day cricketer which was something you might not have said about him midway through his career, but the way he ended it, you certainly would say so. Lovely shot. First signs really of aggression from Sangakara. It's a, a big boundary straight, but he gets enough of it. Haven't seen much of that. Keeper is back, and so good to use your feet. Does finds the middle of the bat, and Sangakara is going too. Again, beautiful placement, excellent use of the feet. Brilliant batting, so much to admire about the way Sangakara plays, and in particular, he plays that shot there. Ah, yes, the records will tumble. Kuma Sangakara has four consecutive World Cup hundreds. You're looking at a player fit to rank with any, from any age of the game.
He is absolutely world-class and has been for the majority of his career. Incredible performance. You know, there's a man at the top of his game and the experience to know exactly how to stay there. It upset all the odds, actually, in the quarterfinals of that 2015 World Cup when Sri Lanka were bowled out for 133 by the, the South Africans. You just wouldn't have expected that. On the day, they just couldn't deliver. Sri Lanka's last hope on the way back, probably for the last time. But Sri Lanka don't have much, and as we say that, the heavens open up. Undoubtedly, I mean, there's a lot of players who have who've not won a World Cup. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but... You know, you'd have to say that uh, someone with his abilities, uh, two World Cup finals, would have been pretty disappointed that he hadn't got a winner's medal. A bit like, bit like Ian Botham and Graham Gooch, you know, disappointed they haven't got one on, on the shelf. And there is the blow. Quinton de Kock takes South Africa home. Their first win in a knockout game at the World Cup. But also a last game for uh, Kumar Sangakkara, Maila Jayabhadana. Got a feel for Kumar Sangakkara, Mahail Jaywood, and they would not have liked to have gone out in this fashion. They've been two absolute legends of the world game.